Okay, the next one is the uh, connectivity meter. So this is a typical conductivity meter we're using. This is the YSI 30. Again, the probe is just kept in here. Uh, you don't have to worry about it too much being damp because the actual uh, measuring uh, sensor is actually inside here. Um, what you want to watch out for though is any, you see the water goes up and through here. You want to make sure you're not getting any bubbles forming when you're taking the measurements. Yeah, but, uh, this one, it's not so critical. You just have to watch out for any bubbles that may form uh, inside the probe. So you just want to give it a jiggle to make sure there's not any probes, uh, any bubbles in the probe. Uh, works the same sort of way. Um, with the conductivity, you generally don't have to worry about calibrating it. They should be calibrated every six months to a year, depending on how often. So I wouldn't really worry the students about doing that. The technicians will probably take care of that. And these ones were done by Ray about six months ago. No, it was about a year ago, wasn't it, Ray? Yeah, because yeah, you took it up to the open. Yeah, so they're about due to be done again. Um, again, this has temperature on it, and it'll give you a reading in micro um, There's <coughs> two modes you need to really worry about. Um, here, when the, you've got the temperature at the bottom and there's a flashing C, this means specific conductivity. Because conductivity is also related to temperature, this one is standardised to 25 degrees. Okay, so that's what the flashing one means, specific conductivity. And if you just change it to mode, C stops flashing, and you have ambient con conductivity. So it's the conductivity at that particular temperature. And you probably want to make sure you can write, write both those figures down when you're taking the measurements. Uh, you should be able to convert between one and the other. Um, that's pretty much it for conductivity. Uh, just make sure that the, the probe is fairly clean when you, you're done with it. It'll also give you a reading in um, part, uh, salinity and parts per thousand, but for fresh water that's not really going to be uh, that much of a worry. It's probably more, more, probably more uh, relevant to the marine. Oh yeah, yeah. Try try to keep the case out of the water. Um, I think there's an O-ring in it, but we don't really want to take any chances. They're not waterproof. Panels will actually, the button panels will get more in the pocket okay. um, and pretty much crap out <coughs> and we can send away and get more place. Yep. If you've got puddles of water in the box as well, dry the box, otherwise it's all kind of 